Next on the agenda is from the Knowledge Management Committee, Reinventing Your CII Knowledge Experience. To date, 182 CII research teams have produced a wealth of valuable information and the committee is charged with improving access to that information. The members have proposed a new method for tagging existing research, the CII Project Execution Knowledge Structure, or CPEC. Here to present their plan for improving information accessibility is Sherry Davis, Director of Project Management and Project Controls for Strategy, Engineering, and Consulting, LLC. Ladies and gentlemen, Sherry Davis. Does anyone know who Lou Platts was? Lou Platts was the president, chairman, and CEO of Hewlett Packard. He said, if HP knew what HP knows, we'd be three times more profitable. What if I change that slightly? If CII members knew what CII knows, we'd be three times more profitable. Think about that for a second. If CII members knew what CII knows, we'd be three times more profitable. The title of our presentation is Reinventing CII's Knowledge Experience. For Steve Jobs, lasting companies are not afraid to reinvent themselves. He goes on to say that if they don't, someone will force them to, they'll go out of business, they'll be bought out, or they'll become irrelevant. In the next few minutes, I'd like to share with you how CII is reinventing our knowledge base. CII's knowledge base is very unique. It's made up of products from 182 research teams. It's estimated that CII members have invested between 100 and $200 million in research cost and in member volunteer time to create our existing database. Over the past couple of years, we've had several focus groups, and membership is quite clear on what they want. They want greater flexibility and easy access to our information. They want more sophisticated search capabilities and the ability to search by keywords or alternate terms. We also want more concise summaries of our CII content. And we want greater integration of the CII research as well as cross-reference capabilities and linkage of CII materials. With that clear feedback, the Knowledge Based Steering Committee was able to establish a vision. First, let's restructure our knowledge base and select what's most relevant, especially for practitioners. Organize it and tag it so that we can increase our search results, helping members find what they're looking for. And last, let's integrate that complementary research Go simple, let's make it easy to share. Did you know that CII's first research was conducted in 1983? Think about technology in 1983. The Space Shuttle Challenger was launched on its maiden voyage in 1983. Return of the Jedi was the hit movie. Local Indiana native Michael Jackson had two of the top five songs on the Billboard hits, Beat It and Billie Jean. Think about the business world. In the business world, Lotus 123, not Excel, and Microsoft Word were first released, and ARPANET. Who remembers ARPANET? Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. It officially changed creating the internet. You know, with, we've come a long way since then. Well, within CII, we have come a tremendous way since then. We've been able to develop keys to help us penetrate our knowledge base so that we can open and unlock those golden nuggets from our publications that's gonna allow members to maximize the tremendous value of all the research that we've done and then they can meet, select what they want to meet their specific needs, whether it's to improve their cost effectiveness or give them a competitive advantage. In this day of information overload, Generation X 
as well as all the rest of us, wants quick access to the knowledge. So tagging our publications and those key findings to, are going to be crucial in order to access those informations and get good results. Howard Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, said, best innovations senses and fulfills a need before others even realize the need exists, creating a new mindset. CPEX is the new mindset for the CII knowledge base. We currently have our structure based around knowledge areas, but we're expanding it to include management attributes, project phases, and project roles and functions to be able to get into the CII publications. We don't all think alike. Our goal is to have multiple portals to access the CII information. And the concept is you select different elements and then it begins focusing the search. So I'm a project manager and I'm looking for information on commissioning and startup. I'm in the early planning phases of the project, but I'm wanting to think of the end in mind as I'm working on my detailed scope. So by spe selecting project management, commissioning and startup, and detailed scope, I can go directly into the planning for startup implementation resource. CII members ask for concise summaries. The new topic summary is the solution. It's a very concise summary of the key findings from the publications of a single research team. It's one method for how CII members can know what CII knows, so we're three times more profitable. The concept is that each publication in the research team is reviewed to find those golden nuggets, especially that are geared towards practitioners. And then once after we identify them, to go in and tag them to increase the search results so it's easy to find. Did you know that CII has a publication called Performance Assessment? Share a couple of key findings with you from this particular publication. Our owner companies submitted 975 projects into the CII Performance Assessment Database. Only 5.4% of those 975 projects met both cost and schedule targets. Nearly 70% did not meet either cost or schedule, and it was off by as much as 10%. Uh, there are 64 member companies, 64 owner companies, that are part of the CII that committed, that participated and gave us these 975 projects. In 2012, the projects were about $2 billion of projects. Let's say that you had a quality objective and your quality objective was to improve the cost performance on your projects by 5% annually until you are a first quartile company using CII's performance assessment database. Those 64 owners on those $2 billion projects would have saved $108 million. Did you know that there's a publication called CII Best Practices Guide? This is the easiest method for CII members to know what CII already knows about some of our best practices. As CII members, we all have the opportunity to improve our work processes as well as gain those competitive advantages and so much more. As kind of the bottom line, CII members can know what CII knows through better access to our information and better integration of our knowledge base. We're at a cru crucial junction in our program. We need a lot of help. 
in order to go in and review our past research and identify those golden nuggets that are in our publications to develop those topic summaries and then to tag the key findings so that we can increase our search capabilities. For volunteers, it's a great opportunity in order to expand your professional network. You can even earn professional development hours. For member companies, it's an excellent opportunity to develop the careers of some of your employees. It's also an opportunity to get some help and assistance in implementing research into your work processes. As a very experienced implementer and practitioner, research is wonderful, but research does not become valuable knowledge until it's implemented. We have a very active group on our Knowledge Base Steering Committee. It's been my pleasure to work with such a passionate group of experts. They have so many years of, of experience of CII know-how. Another group that has a tremendous amount of knowledge is our Knowledge Management Committee. This group has spent a lot of time on our pilot program and also sponsoring our project. I'd like to invite you to come by our display area to have an opportunity to look at some of the topic summaries that we developed during our pilot program, see what progress we've made to date, and learn about opportunities to get involved. Thank you. <laughs>